All right, good morning, everybody. Everybody say hi to my puppy, Ruby. Come here, Ruby. This is my old lady. Hi, baby. This is my Ruby. Yeah, she's a sweet girl. That's sweet baby. Yeah. So if you've seen my big fluffy white dog, this is his mama. She's a little golden. She's my sweetest puppy ever. All she wants to do is snuggle. She doesn't want to play. She doesn't want to eat. She just wants to snuggle. Good girl. All right, guys. Let's see what we got going on here. As you can see, I got a bunch of stuff that's going to be some gold. I still have 18 hours left on my uh, Nexus. So once we get down to eight hours, I'll... Let's see, 10 hours from now. About nine o'clock tonight. All right. Maybe I'll boost that. I can start recouping some gold here. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see how these things have affected my efficiency. <sighs> we'll see how, uh, how we can do. Let me pull up some comments here because I had a couple of good ones from the other day. All right. Come on. Give me something. Big money. No whammies. Some of you are not old enough for that. Yeah, who was it? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Turn that off. Somebody asked uh, Daniel. Hopefully they have a selection to remove all the pop-up boxes. Sometimes it's difficult to move something because of the pop-up being in the way. Yeah, uh, I agree. Hopefully they'll have a toggle for that. I understand it's alpha. It's just a... You know, it doesn't break the game or anything. And all right, and all right, nothing new. Uh, we did talk about some of this yesterday on the the most recent video before this one. All the different uh, some of the different animals and some people's favorites. So if you've got you know your favorite alluvials, um, let me know. We'll show them, show some pictures, see what they do. And, uh, you know, March 7th gets closer and closer. That's one month from today. We'll have some Illuvatars, which should be awesome. I'm planning on buying quite a few. Uh, we have some... We gave away some as soon as they were announced. At one of our game nights, we gave away uh, some Illuva discs. Just, you know, as a promise to our community members who won some of our games. That, you know, once they come out, we will buy some and we will give you one. So, if you're in the Alpha Origins Discord and the... I don't know, four or five of you that won those. We have not forgot about you. I have a list. We will get those to you as soon as they come out. Uh, let's see. I did want to address a question that uh, Gaka Wade gotcha. Gotcha, Gaka. I don't know. Wade. Um, he says, given the opportunity to choose between three tier two lands or one tier one land, which one would you prefer when it comes to making more money? Considering fuel and BP production are all maxed out. Okay, so... Um, some interesting things to consider, and this is just off the top of my head. We'll have to see how things go. Uh, next round, when they reset here at the uh, end of the month, I will play my Tier 1, 2, and 3, and we'll see how quickly things go for each each bit of land. Um, if you've got three Tier 2s, I just... Um, I want to say you'll probably have uh, more raw resources and fuel because the tier uh, tier threes, excuse me, have um, let's see nine element sites, so nine resources and six fuel sites. Okay, so this tier three that I have right here has nine resources or element sizes they're called and six fuel sources a tier two has six element sites and three fuel sites so if you had three tier twos let's do the math um you know let me get out my calculator so six resources times three plots of land is 18 resources versus the nine that i have on my tier three so three tier twos would have double the amount of resources that I have on this plot of land. However, they don't have a landmark. 
Um, and then you would have nine fuel sites versus my six on the tier three. Um, having three plots of land. Now, where it's going to get tricky is you're going to have to build because three, three tier twos, even if they're right, right next to each other, is not going to be a mega city. So you're going to have to have a nexus and a workshop. You're going to have to have all these buildings on each piece of land. Um, you know, if you could buy, if you could buy three tier threes that would, if it, that you could maybe eventually make into a mega city, you just need one more. Um, mm, that would be, that's not, not a bad idea, I don't think. Um, because then you could really maximize your scanners and labs. Um, you, you can't maximize resources other than adding more converters. Um, more land gives you more chances to put converters up, but you can put the same amount of converters up no matter which tier of land. You know, if you, if, if you had three tier twos, you could max out your converters, but you could max out converters on a tier one land as well. It would just take you longer. Um, I think the tier twos will take longer to get to, you know, maximum efficiency than a tier three. Uh, but if you got a, a, some tier twos with, uh, you know, say one of each resource and one of each fuel, and you got three of them, if you could find them, even if they're not linked, uh, that, I, I guess it's possible that could turn out better than one tier three. Uh, the tier two floor right now is what? Let me go over here and look. Let's check out all the floors. Pull this over here for you. All right, so here's the land, the floor for the tiers. Tier one is 0.45, tier two point uh, 1.2, and tier three is 3.3. .3. So if you bought two, I'm sorry, three tier threes, three tier twos at the floor, you're paying a little more than the one floor for a tier three. So yeah, um, let's see if there's any tier twos that might fit that bill of having one of each. Yeah, so you've got one of each fuel. Obviously, they're not evenly distributed, but I'm sorry, one of each element and only the Hyperion. So the, in order to get the other resources, you would have to build uh, converters and just convert Hyperion to your others, which can be done. It's just not as optimal as also having that fuel on your land. So let's see. This is, uh, has got two of the fuels, but only two of the elements. Again, you can fill in that element with converters and maybe you build multiple converters because you don't have as much as many lakes or as many um, carbon deposits so um, you just have to be aware when you're looking at the land okay what am I missing and how am I going to make up for that let's look at this one this one has more colors nope still two and two I'm looking to see if we can find one that's got three and three if they do I imagine it's gonna be a little higher Looks like it might have three resources. Three resources and two fuel sites. That's really not bad for a tier two. Um, the price on that is what, 1.26? So it's a little higher than the floor. Uh, and it is in the Crimson Wastes, which is going to have its own unique. Hmm, I wonder if I should buy that. So here's the Crimson Waste. Here's the Halcyon Sea. Each one is going to have different blueprints and different skins. So. I mean, that's not a bad piece of land. And I mean, you could see here, if you could get a two and a two, and then a one and a one, you could have a little mini. Oh, let me have that. If you had a mega city there. Hmm. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? 
so technically you could buy that's 1.22 that one's 0.41 that one's 1.26 but this one's not for not for sale I almost was like holy crap um so yeah I mean if you had 1.2 1.6 2.8 and you could find this guy. You could have a mega city for uh, 3.15, which is cheaper than, well, assuming you could get that guy to sell for the price. Anyway, interesting. But uh, I hope that answers, or at least gets the discussion going for you, Wade. Um, I should have you know more details on that as we go forward. And I start playing more lands. You can see how quickly... That, uh, that that's going to go. But as you can see here, I have two of each fuel. And I could build more converters. And if fuel ends up being a steady, a steady source of income versus, you know, the random chance of blueprints, it's going to come down to math there. You know, if a blueprint sells for $10, but a piece of fuel sells for 10 cents, how many fuel do I need to make each day to overcome the random chance of getting a blueprint? Um, uh, as of now, they don't have... Uh, there's only speculation as to what the uh, fuel prices are going to be, so we'll see when that comes out. But if fuel turns out to be you know, a, a decent price per unit, um, then yeah, while I have two of each fuel site, I can build as many converters as I want. So, you know, this converter, for example, if I want to convert, number one, it converts them out of the air. And then number two, if I want to convert something, let's use uh, the Solon because it's got more. I can convert four Solons. So let's say that was 10 cents. I converted 40 cents into a dollar 11. A dollar 11. A dollar 10. I'm good at math. So anyway, that's um, that's going to depend on, on how, how fuel costs run and how often blueprints come up and what their sale price is um so yeah there's what gets me was one of the reasons i like this whole ecosystem is the depth i mean if you really want to be just passive you hold the land and five percent of the revenue generated maybe by selling the tokens or by the secondary sales of fuel or alluvius that that goes to landowners just hold the piece of land. Uh, I don't know if they have plans for rentals. Like you can rent your land out. You, you know, you've got a tier three, but you don't want to sit here and do everything with it. So you call me up and say, hey, work my tier three land. And, you know, you set a percentage. You know, I own the land, so I get 60% and you get 40%. Cool. Uh, I don't know if that's in the cards yet or not, but it should be. Hint, hint. But all of this ties into the Alluvium Overworld game where you explore and you catch alluvials that you can then sell. Um, here, you're, you're getting the blueprints for the different skins and the different, it looks like the abilities to uh, different buffs and stuff to change or boost your character in different ways. Uh, so, and then you go to the arena where you can battle it out and, you know, put your money where your mouth is. So... I, I really like the the multiple stages here and the way each you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna battle out on the arena but you know what my son might and I, yeah I'll give him a little little uh, secondary account and you know toss some ETH in there for him if he wants to wager his ETH and see if he can make a little money playing some card games why not right he's 11 he'll be a whole lot better at it than I am anyway so. I don't lose that much. That's fine. So, um, oh, this has nothing to do with Illuvium. I'm just really excited about it. One of our partners over at Alpha Origins is Animated Punks, and they make the most fun uh, NFTs. Let me see. I'll pull, I'll pull one of mine up for you here in just a second. But, um, nope, not there. It's over here. Enjoy the all the windows I have up but he's uh, I, I, I love them there I'll show you here in just a second but they've got a bunch of uh, different utilities to them but I'm excited because they just came out with their um, mobile game 
where you, um, I don't know if any of you guys ever, you're going to have to be old, old like me, but there was an old arcade game called Asteroids, and you had a little, you know, triangle ship in the middle, and you could boost around, and you had to blow up asteroids, and, uh, and then you've got Galaga, where you're blowing up other ships, but you're at the bottom. Well, he's made this game um, where you fly around in a little ship, and you can shoot other ships. And right now, it's in beta. It just got released on uh, iOS, and I think it may have been on uh, Google Play for a while. I'm not sure, but I'm an iOS guy, so I'm going to be playing that and recording it on my phone and putting some videos up and helping, you know, work out the bugs. But it's the iOS game is free to play. Um, unfortunately, because iOS and Apple, you know, take an ungodly chunk of any money earned by apps on their platform, uh, it's not going to be play to earn on mobile. But the game will be free to play on mobile. So you can learn how to play. The play to earn game will be on uh, for computers. And you will be able to play the game and earn the native token, which is it's a crypto token, so it can be exchanged. But um, you can also use the token to, uh, to wager, to... Uh, there's... You know, there's going to be PvE matches where you can just earn the, the token. Or there's PvP matches where you can wager the token. You can buy merch. Uh, you can upgrade your ships with the game token. Um, higher grade ships have, you know, extra abilities. What uh, Everything you would expect with a rarity NFT type project. But it just dropped today. He just put it in the Apple Store. And I'm going to play it. And I will put up some videos and talk about it. And come check us out in our Discord. And also, I will link... Um, well, I'll put the Animated Punks Discord link in the Animated Punks video. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Catalan's done a great job. He's been working on this for a year. I've been, I've bought and been in, been a part of the Animated Punks ecosystem since before we had any kind of uh, project ourselves. And then he partnered with our new project. So it's awesome. Can't wait. Check that out here in a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Fighting some drainage. Every time the temperature goes hot, cold, hot, cold, I get sinus drainage. So, all that said, with the sidebar, thanks for indulging me there. Um, check uh, if you got any questions, or if you have any theories or thoughts on the uh, which tiers of land might stack better, and you know, or or the economy, or what your plans are. Toss them in the comments for me. You know, give me a like and a subscribe, because you know that's how YouTube works, right? Um, oh, let me show you the animated punks. My customs. Uh, there's alien punks, there's animated punks, and then there's customs. The ships will be their own NFTs that you can use in the game. Uh, in fact, let me just pull this over here for you. So these are the alien punks. Come on. Don't be stupid. There we go. Why are you being stupid? There we go. So these are the alien punks. Some of these actually can be combined into multi-scenes. Um, do, 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 do. You can see all my NFTs here. How about that? There, here's my customs. So yeah, I ordered customs one through five are uh, Star Wars related here. You see my lazy apes. There's another alien. So I got my Emperor, got my Vader, got my Grogu, got my Mando, and of course, hello there. All right, that's all I got for you. See you guys on the next one. And we'll be uh, boosting this here in nine hours to get that completed. And with that being said, since I am in such a good mood and feeling good, you should have a good one and give the other half to someone else. See you guys.